back to the video if you're new my name is asian marie and in today's pamper routine can't you tell i need it <laughs> so i'm going to use these walmart whitening strips now to me they work just as good as a crest and they are pocket friendly i like to just make sure that my teeth and gums are dry because if i don't they'll slide off and it'll defeat the whole purpose of using the whitening strips so I like to just go in and when I apply it I like to actually cut in the crease of my teeth that way I'm making sure that I'm getting every single corner and crevice I am trying to get in the routine of using these quite frequently maybe once or twice a week I know that people use these every day but my teeth are just too freaking sensitive they are too sensitive so I'm just gonna wait 30 minutes and take a shower with this being a self-love pamper routine I will admit that I hit a point where I just wasn't mentally feeding myself. And I don't think I I don't think that it wasn't me mentally feeding myself. I just started to become more aware of all the things that I was shoving under the rug and I eventually tripped. So I think I found a Dove Deep Moisture Body Wash dupe and it is the Nivea Nourishing Body Wash and ah uh, it's up there it's up there the scent is amazing it smells so clean the lather is pretty decent as well so if you haven't checked out nivea's body care line you definitely should girl you definitely should complete transparency i'm not the biggest fan of feminine wash but love and wars line is just chef kiss it's so supple yet hydrating for your lady parts and it does not irritate me so it checks off now for only $2.99 you can have pristine clean baby smooth feet with this infused soap sponge um, from Amazon the link will be down below oh my gosh so I have been trying the KP bump eraser body scrub that everyone has been raving about be sure to look out for a video specifically on strawberry legs coming soon your way so if you're not subscribed girl what are you doing be subscribed but I have been loving it like I've been using it on my legs and I have a little bit of um strawberry skin on my arms and i have seen a mild difference i'm waiting to get to like two three months to see if i truly see an improvement but i've been loving it girl moving along to my full body scrub when I, girl i'm speechless like <laughs> i just stumbled over my words this right here is chef's freaking kiss when i tell you this smells like lost cherry in a body scrub it's amazing it has almond oil and coconut oil and it just does the job when it comes to making sure that i'm getting a nice exfoliation uh, and you see how big this tub was like mm, if i can find it i will link it so check the description box I promise you this is not sponsored, but I have been loving the Nivea In Shower Body Lotion. Nivea, if you want to sponsor your girl, never be too ill to reach out to your girl or whatever Nikki said. So, yes, I was feeling really, really lazy, and I love the fact that this body lotion is specifically made for the shower. So, you can still have your skin damp, rinse it off, and your skin is still going to be so freaking soft you're not gonna have the sheen like you would with the original nivea body lotion but you still get that baby smooth effect now that i'm out of the shower it is definitely time to take these whiteness strips off so i'm just going to take that off and you will gradually start to see your teeth lighten the more you use the strips now i am going to wash my face i love to put on my water wristlets honey y'all know i love doing that and i know you're not supposed to brush your teeth i don't know i guess it's controversial but you're not supposed to but i still do because i don't like that gel feel on my teeth I now I'm going to wash my face using my favorite facial cleanser by Rovectin. I love this lather. I love how it doesn't strip my skin from all the moisture. It still it still it still hydrates my skin while also still removing and stripping the day away. 
girl this cleanser is too good at stripping stuff away i wish it could help me shake you know what i'm saying strip and shake and shimmy a couple of other things but uh <laughs> woo, yeah girl i digress i digress <laughs> y'all peep the water wristless though now i'm going to just still keep my skin a little bit damp i'm about to shave my face you can't really see it but my skin is actually a little bit hairy you will see a different glow from the beginning of this process to the end my skin just really thrives when it has no hair on it while loving myself i have learned that my biggest toxic trait i guess it's to toxic yeah i would say it's toxic is <sighs> Accepting the fact that I have a hard time of letting go, a very hard time of letting go of the past, of people in the past, of things that I've done that I'm not too proud of, um, realizing that I can't go back, <laughs> I can't change anything, and to just accept and move on and truly learn to forgive myself because if I can't forgive myself, there's no way possible that I'll be able to forgive anyone else. So I, I'm learning to be oh so gentle and treat myself as if I'm that six or seven year old girl, you know? Because I feel like sometimes I can be stuck there. When I really get to the root of it, it's like, well, why did this make you upset? Why? And not, you know, you just have to get to the root of things. And it took me 24 years. Well, I don't even want to say 24. It just took me a really long time to really grasp that a lot of my sadness is because I haven't let go. And it's really hard to admit. <laughs> Gosh. And don't get me wrong. I feel as though going down memory lane can be such a beautiful thing. You know, like it's such a blessing to have even created memories with people in general, you know. Um, so I'm so grateful for them, but I think I take them a little bit too literal <laughs> I, I, and I had to get to the root of it. And I think it, it, it really all is when I attach myself to people, I, I continuously associate myself with the feeling that I felt in that moment. And it's like, Asia, that chapter is now closed. You're in a whole new chapter. Revisit it when the book is finished, you know, like. Your book is not finished yet. Why are you still wanting to go back to these old chapters? And you have so many more chapters ahead of you. It's not over. So with that being said, instead of me attaching myself to people when they've made me feel oh so amazing, I am now journaling. I write in my notes. I write in my, I guess you call them diaries my composition notebooks i have so many of them and i just write all my positives i write all my negatives and it feels so good it feels so good it feels so good to not feel like i'm caring and y'all know my head is big girl my head is huge girl so <laughs> all them thoughts like before i gotta go somewhere but writing in a journal is also a good memory trace for all of the good and positive things that happen in my life and not having to dwell on the past and then looking and searching and then trying to leach on to, you know, so it's just, uh, it feels so good, girl. It feels so good. So if that's one thing I can recommend, I recommend you journaling. And at first I was like, ugh, girl, a journal who, where, write what, please. Now I go to the the pool i sit poolside i get me a little vibe play some meditation music and i just am like please anything to get me away from reality and when i find myself being really mean to myself i jump straight into affirmations i tell myself continuously girl i forgive you you are doing good and so on and so forth now if you're having a hard time with creating your own affirmations i have actually created a motivational pamper routine that includes beauty and confidence affirmations so be sure to check this video out on the screen we love to be pampered in all areas, so of course I am going to be a pampered chef as well. It has been one of my favorite ways to pamper myself is making sure that I'm also eating a nutritious meal. So with the help of Green Chef, I am able to do just that. Today I'm going to be making the 
southwest turkey and bell pepper quesadilla and when i tell you these were so freaking juicy and just tasty like oh my gosh this ccof certified organic company has options for every lifestyle like vegan vegetarian fast and fit and many more And Green Chef is also partnered with One Tree Planted to plant trees in Northern Thailand for Earth Month. So this means every box sold One Tree will be planted. How awesome is that? Like you get a good meal while also helping the earth. I mean, think about it. You don't have to take your time out to go to the grocery store. You don't have to spend gas going to the grocery store. And you don't even have to look at the produce to make sure that everything is fresh because Green Chef does that for you every single time. And with clicking the link in the description and using my code AsiaMarie60, you'll be able to get 60% off and free shipping. Thank you so much, Green Chef, for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Ooh, okay. Another self-love tip that I have been doing that I want to share with you is to authentically, truly accept love from others. I'm talking about the simplest love, the non-romantic love. You know, love comes in all size, shapes, colors. <laughs> so... I'm starting to realize that love doesn't only have to be so romantic. It's just the simple things that genuinely matter as well. And it could come from your mentor. It could come from a family of a, of a friend, of a cousin. You know, it could come from a total stranger. Um, I have really realized that there are a lot of good people out in this world, no matter how much society tries to highlight the bad. So don't allow your heart to turn into stone and try not to be so cold at times as well. Life is worth living. Having a warm, open heart, even an open heart posture is such a beautiful thing. And people really mean it when they tell you that you matter and they love and care for you. Just like that.